Alrighty guys, we are back at the airport now. I am flying to India today with Josie Dooley and Emma DeBro. I cannot wait. It's going to be long, long day ahead, but uh, yeah, can't wait. Guys, we are back. Um, obviously, I haven't posted for a while, but um, yeah, I am off to India with, yeah, like I said before, Josie Dooley and Emma DeBrow. So, we're heading to Mumbai, India to do a batting camp. Originally, it was just going to be Dooley and Emma DeBrow, but I decided to just jump on board and uh, come to India because obviously, I love India. Um, but obviously, I just signed with the Western Storm as well, so straight after India I'll head to the UK um, and then I'll be in the UK up until September, so it's going to be a long time away, this is probably the most time I've spent away from home in a while. I'm actually really excited to do a summer in the UK, I'm excited to get to India, um, I'm excited to eat some food because I'm starving, it is currently 6 o'clock in the morning. We also had the Neil Dancy and um, Andrea McCauley Awards last night for the SA Scorpions. Really fun night, really good time. Um, great timing because obviously you're saying goodbye to everyone as well. And yeah, I was fortunate enough to win the Andrea McCauley Award, um, the MVP of the year for the Scorpions. And yeah, what a what a massive, massive privilege that was. So yeah, really, really cool award to top off the end of this season so um, yeah I can't wait to go away uh, obviously there won't be an off season for me this is my off season so and I can't wait obviously I haven't flown overseas for a while and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope India India is great um, I am taking Josie Dooley and Emma DeRoe to an IPL game so we're going to go to the Mumbai Indians and Rajasthan Royals game at the One Kedi Stadium so cannot wait for that but now I am starving. Let's eat. Yum. Thank you. Cheers. So we are in Melbourne, um, we're about to go to Singapore. So the time is currently uh, around about 9.40. Our next flight is at 12, 12.05, so we've got a bit of waiting. But um, yeah, over in the departure area, uh, yeah. on the board it is saying to go through security. So we're gonna end up going through security. Um, obviously the journey to Singapore is gonna be seven hours and then we'll meet Dooley and M in Singapore. So really looking forward to this. We're gonna, ha we're gonna hang out in the Qantas Lounge for a little bit, but oh, let's get through security. Alrighty, just walking through duty free now. We've got our money. Um, I ended up changing over $300, which is like 15,000. But we are at gate nine. Um, so we've still got a little bit while, but, oh wait, no, maybe, yeah, get nine. There are so many people here, and apparently we've got a full flight to Singapore, so oh, it's going to be busy. i tell you what, one thing I've noticed in airports, and especially like Melbourne or Sydney, is how many rude people are here. Crazy, crazy amount. But, uh, yeah, let's find the Qantas Club. I am starving. Alrighty 
apologise. I tried to get into the business lounge and I've been sent to the first class lounge. I'm excited. <laughs> oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I just yeah. But yeah, I thought I normally come in and check just and see. Okay. Okay. Straight away. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Above it, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. But nothing's available. No. Yep, no, that's fine, that's fine. I just thought I'd check. Guys, we're in first class lounge. This is so cool. There's a whole restaurant over there. I'm gonna first charge my phone for a little bit and then I'm gonna go get a food. But how cute is this? Little cute little buddy. Um, as you just saw, I tried to upgrade to business class on the flight to Singapore, but the, it is fully booked. It is fully booked out, so um, I wasn't able to upgrade, but you know, it doesn't bother me. I'm in the first row, so there's literally no one in front of me, which is fantastic. So, yeah, I, I can smell food, I can smell coffee. I can't wait to eat, I honestly cannot wait to eat. So, as I was saying before, our flight to Singapore is around about five hours. Um, and I meet up with Dolly and Debray in Singapore, and then we all fly to Mumbai together. Um, we, should, we should arrive in Mumbai around 8 o'clock at night. So, long day of travelling, but definitely worth it. Um, and then obviously tomorrow is Saturday, so we're going to start our training sessions tomorrow. Really excited, and then, yeah, I just can't wait to be back in Mumbai. I am excited to start traveling um, again and yeah the next phase of I guess my career is going over to the UK and playing so obviously um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned before but yeah signed for Western Storm so back going to be based in Bristol and then yeah playing for the Oval Invincibles for um, the 100 which I'm in, like, incredibly grateful for and yeah so thankful they picked me up in the draft and I can't I honestly cannot wait but um yeah, let's just relax for a little bit. Guys, look at this menu. No surprise. Done. That hit the spot. That was so good. Oh, I'm content. Now to drink. Actually, now to drink my coffee. Oh, I'm actually really keen to try their um, their breakfast salad as well. Like it looked really good. But I don't want to waste food. I might get something smaller. I don't know. I don't know yet. Wait see how I feel after this coffee. I am content. I'm very content. <laughs> Alrighty, we are boarding. Let's head to Singapore. Alright, we are heading to the gate. Oh my god, that was so nice in there. I absolutely loved it, honestly. Oh, bless their hearts. But, yeah.
hotel right here, so we've got about half an hour until we land in Singapore. The flight has actually been really good. I've actually been quite surprised with the economy food. Um, we had pizza, we had fried rice and chicken. Um, I'm right up the front, which is great, so a lot of space. Um, but yeah, I'm so keen to just land. <laughs> and then we've got another flight, another five hour flight. All worth it, all worth it. Tony on the flight, he's so cool. <laughs> Honestly, we had a great chat. Um, he does construction and yeah, he was awesome during the flight. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Love it. Tony's awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you. See you, take care, I Tony. Remember you number 10. Yeah, yeah, number 10. There you go. <laughs> I tell you what, Singapore, Singapore is crazy. Honestly, there's so many people here. Oh, still trying to find my transfer. If if I could change anything, I wish I had some more time in Singapore because I feel a little bit rushed. I don't like that. But uh yeah, we've got to catch a bus to terminal terminal three, so we're almost there. We are almost there and I'm sweating bullets. Oh my god. It is real hot here. <gasps> Hi Dolly. I am. On the one I want to play from. Dolls? What you got there? I don't know. They're great. What is it? <laughs> what is it, Well, Do you know what it is? <laughs> Taste test, taste test, live taste test. Live taste test. Live taste test. I have to hold all of your possessions <laughs> to live taste test. Do <laughs> the carry of this trip. It's good stuff. Mmm, it's like a, it's okay. It's like a hydrolyte. It's better than that. And that tastes like the orange hydrolyte. <laughs> it's alright, it's good. Nice. It's right good. It's nice. good. <laughs> she is a mess already. Look at her. <laughs> You're like a first time traveler. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for the flight. Oh my god. Cargo is ideal for travel. Everyone's, Everyone's like, who is this chick? Got my sleeping tablets. Oh my mm. god, what are they? That's not what mine are. Yeah. That's not what I have. I'm worried. We, we've made it. No bags. <laughs> but I've got no bags. Well, I'll put it on you. <laughs> oh my god. What, what's happened? My life? bags are in Singapore still. <laughs> oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> long 24 hours. Yeah, it looks like I'm not coming to training tomorrow. That's <laughs> right, you can go exploring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my dirty clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got one bag, but my cricket bag is still in Singapore. I don't know how they can get one bag and one bag still be in Singapore. So this is the bar I'm waiting for. And I've got to go through customs with him, so still a waiting game. Oh, righty guys, we have finally made it to India and we have made it to our hotel. This hotel is unbelievable. So you walk in and look at this. 
So this is the bathroom there, but we'll get that into a minute. But look at this. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait to sleep in that bed tonight. Honestly, I'm gonna get so much sleep tonight. Um, this is incredible. And then we walk through here. We've got a bath. Got the mirror. Only thing I only thing I don't like about this is you have the bath and like you can see <laughs> through to the that's so weird, like <laughs> At least I can't get locked in the bathroom this time. <laughs> and then we've got the shower. Oh, it's got a seat in it. Shower. And then the bath. Uh, the bath. <laughs> oh my god, the toilet. So yeah, I am so tired. And this bed looks so comfy, and it is. Oh my god. But I am so annoyed at the fact that my bag is still in Singapore. So I actually got one of my suitcases, which I don't understand. How can you send, like how can you get your suitcase but not have your other bag? So I don't have my cricket kit. I don't think I'll be training tomorrow. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a little bit of a worry, but um, we push forward. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm tired. It's like one o'clock in the morning or it's, what is it? Yeah, it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a shower and then go to bed because I'm bloody tired. But today has been massive, um, and yeah, welcome back, welcome back to the vlogs, guys. As well, I haven't said that all day, but um, yeah, welcome back. Uh, yeah, so in Mumbai um, till the fourth of April, and then we fly off to the UK for our stint with the Western Storm and the Oval Invincibles, and then yeah, but we're in we're in India again. I. I bloody love India, honestly. Once Dooley and the bro said they were gonna go to India for a batting camp, I was like, can I join? Can I please join? Because I would love to go. So, and we're here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, well, I'm gonna unpack a few things, have a and head to bed. But yeah, thanks, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this chaotic da day. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the next couple of days, there will be a lot of footage around uh, training um, around Dooley, Debro, myself, um, in terms of yeah, training, what it's like to train in India. I'll probably interview the locals as well, um, and I can't wait, can't wait to eat the food here. Seriously, I, my my goal, my goal for this trip is to get Dooley to eat street food. That is my one goal, and this is this is M's first trip to India as well, so this is really exciting for her. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So guys, on that note, I'm gonna say um, once again, thank you for coming back to my channel and watching uh, this video, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, and welcome to the India vlogs, the 2024 India vlogs. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's chaotic video and I hopefully will see you in the next episode. Take care guys.